possibility. I'm saying when, when you look at transformer architecture today, every LLM that you write on the same corpus of underlying data for training will get to the same answer. So my point is today, if you're a company, the most important thing that you can do, especially if you have a $1 trillion plus market cap that could get competed away, is to figure out how to defend it. And so all I'm saying is from the perspective of a shareholder of Google, and also from the perspective of either the board of director or a senior executive or the CEO, this should be the number one thing that I'm thinking about. And my, my framing of how to answer that question is build a competitive moat around two things. One is at the end, which is how much money and what kind of relationship do I have with my customers, including the publishers, and can I give them more so that number two is I can affect who they decide to contribute their content to. So you're right. Let's assume that there are five of these infinite libraries in the world. You mean non-public content? How important, and also public, how important is it if Quora says, you know what, guys, I've done a deal where my billions of page views and all of that really rich content, Quora has incredible content, Google's paying me $2 billion a year, and so I've decided to only let Google's AI agents crawl it. And so maybe when there are questions that Quora is already doing a phenomenal job of answering, I think it does make a difference that Google now has access to Quora's content and others don't. Right. For a hot minute, they did have access to the Twitter firehose, and that was the premise, was we could get this corpus of data that we can have in a very limited, restricted way. They paid Twitter a lot of money. I don't think that those deals exist anymore. Twitter, I mean, you guys might know better than I do, but I don't think they exist anymore. Here's where, Chamath, I think you're right. Um, and maybe, Dave, I think you're being too forgiven. These models know where they got the data. And they can easily cite the sources. And they can easily pay for it. And if you want Sorry, to see an example of this, hold, go ahead. You're, you're absolutely right. The video in the Wall Street Journal where Satya was interviewed showed a demo. And you're exactly mm. right. They actually showed... Jason, in the search results, yes, the five or sources. six, but it made no sense because it's like, how do you know that those are the five most cited places that resulted well, in by this? by page rank technology or the authority of the website or the author. But let's pause for a second here. There is a company called Neva.com. I'm not an investor. None of us are. Uh, it's a former Googler. They have 78 employees, I think, according to LinkedIn. I just typed in, what are the best flat panel TVs? Here's the result. And as you see, sentence by sentence, as it rewrites another person's content, it links with a citation, just like the Wikipedia does. And when you scroll to the bottom of it, it tells you, hey, this is from Rolling Stone, this is from Best Buy, this is from Ratings. And if that answer is good for you and you trust those sources, those people should get a commission. Every time there's a thousand searches and you come up, you should get a dollar every time the your problem, data was used. And if not, with these method, sites should sue the daylights out of Google. And for Google enough. to say they can't do it, is hog why isn't wash. It fair they use? can attribute it. Why isn't it it's fair not use? fair use because in fair use, you have the ability to create derivative works on future platforms. Uh, and you are taking this person, the original content owners ability to exploit that. And you are co opting it and you're doing it at scale. And that is against fair use. You're not allowed to interfere with my ability to make future products. David, you know, this as an attorney. The problem with that I'm idea, not an IP lawyer, sorry. All right. Well, I play <laughs> one on TV and this podcast. The problem with that idea, just from a product perspective for a second, is that if you limit how they can tokenize to just being all entire sentences, the product will not be that good. Like the whole idea of these LLMs is that you're running, you know, so many iterations to literally figure out what is the next most best word that comes after this other word. And if you're all of a sudden stuck with blocks of sentences as inputs that can't be violated because of copyright, the product will not be as good. I don't just don't think it'll be as useful. Correct. These are also not deterministic models and they're not deterministic outputs, meaning that it's not a discrete and specific answer that's going to be repeated every time the model is run. These are statistical models. So they infer what the right answer could or should be based on a corpus of data and a synthesis of that data to generate a response to a query. That, refer that inference is going to be, you know, assigned some probability score. And so the model will resolve to something that it thinks is high probability, but it could also kind of say, hey, there's a chance that this is the better answer, this is the better answer, and so on. And so when you have, like you have in the internet, competing data, competing points of view, competing opinions, the model is synthesizing all these different opinions and doing what Google search engine historically has done well, 
which is trying to rank them and figure out which ones are better than others. And that's a very dynamic process. And so if as part of that ingest process, one is using some open, openly readable data set, that doesn't necessarily mean that that data set is improving the quality of the output or is necessarily the answer from the output. Correct. Let me just give everybody a quick four factor education on fair use. And here it is from Google's actual website, because they deal with this all the time. And when you look at it, the nature and purpose and character of the work, including whether such use is not profit or educational purposes. So that first test of fair use is, hey, if you're using it educationally, and you want to make a video that is criticism of Star Wars prequels, or how to shoot a shot like this Quentin Tarantino, if it's educational, it's fine. And courts typically focus, I'm reading here from Google, on whether the use is transformative. That is whether it adds new expression or meaning to the original, or whether it merely copies the original. It's very obvious that this is not transformative. They're just rewriting it. The nature of the copyright seems report, pretty transformative to me. I don't think so. What are you uh, not talking at about? All. They're creating, coming out with entirely new content. They're just rewriting it. Uh, they're not actually adding anything to it. Transformative if a human would did be, it, it'd be fine. If a human does it, it's not. It's if a human rewrites something, Come on, Jake, it's pretty cool. Listen, Jake, mm. I, I, I think you guys I think, are using I think the rights issue. I think the rights issue is just like the cost issue. Which is a problem today, maybe, but it's going to get sorted out. But but here, let me finish. New technology nature, waves that are this powerful don't get stymied by either chip costs or legal rights issues. They do by legal They're rights. Get worked You're hundred percent wrong. Worked out. YouTube got stopped dead in their tracks, and the only way YouTube was, and Napster got stopped dead in the tracks, I predict this is going to get stopped dead in its tracks with YouTube level near death was experience pure lawsuits. Piracy. This is different. And Google was enabled piracy and then they had to build tools I to fight against it. I deeply disagree with JKL. I deeply disagree with you. I disagree I think with both I, you guys. I, I, you guys I both think, think that, that all that cost can stand in the way. Hold on, let me read you Nothing's going to stand in the way of the AI. No, it's going to stand in the way. The AI wants to happen. Big companies using AI to, to, big The AI is already happening. AI is happening. Let's move like let's the conversation forward. I actually, I want to tell you my AI experience. I would like to make my point. We the don't need your poignant. amateur lawyer opinions. I am going to give my point. I don't give a <laughs> shit if you want it or not. The effect of Are you going to bill us 500 bucks an hour for pretending to be a lawyer sure. on He's TV? The effect He's of the hour. use. Let's He's look at this. Call I've heard this point, point of view point. before from you. Yeah. Here it is. Okay, take it easy, Mr. Sub. Better call J. Cal. The this is the first time you've done this. <laughs> the effect, listen to this, the effect <laughs> of the use upon the potential market for or value of the copyright work. Uses oh, that harm the copyright. <laughs> listen to this. Very important. So, when the AI that takes over the world, like Skynet, Jake is going to be like, I thought we'd stop this with rights. <laughs> listen to this. <laughs> AI is not going to be stopped, but companies using AI to steal content will be. With the rights. effective use, <laughs> uses that harm the original copyright owner's ability to profit from his or her original work by serving as a replacement Jake, they're for, figure it out. for that work are Season less desist. likely to be fair Season uses. AI. They're gonna this figure is it out. the one. Okay, great. Okay. You made your point. Well, you made your point and you may okay, be right. I'm sorry, but do I we think... need to get to Marjorie Taylor Green no, for you to have I a wanna... good show? <laughs> sure. No. Let's queue up Marjorie Taylor Green. No, no, hold on, hold on. How um, much did no, you raise I have, for I have, her? I have, I have something I have another aspect of the AI thing I want to talk about. Besides oh, really? just this like interminable rights issue that you're going on and on about. <laughs> All right. Better call J Call. Go. 